Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Ch -ch 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 Chosen. This is uh, our supply mission to counter the minor breakthrough that would add um, further um, further progress on the Avatar project, which we definitely track. wouldn't want to do at the moment. We want to stay in the game and like slowly build everything up. This is going to be our, I think, ninth mission for now, and since it's moderately uh, difficult, we will... Damn, we would need the Prime team here. Boy oh boy, we don't have them available. That sucks. Which means we might want to go in with our secondary team, which again is not fully available. Wow, that sucks as well. So we got ourselves a scout. We got ourselves a sharpshooter. We got ourselves a specialist. We got ourselves a new skirmisher. And almost everyone is tired. I do not want to take uh, Renwim. Gosh, that's so bad. I want him in the in the primary group. It's only two, respectively, four more days until the primary group is ready. So I guess what I'm asking myself is, shall we take Ella Willems with us instead? Um, I mean, she would probably be wounded afterwards, but she's almost ready. The tired status is gone. I don't know how the calculation for taking damage or being wounded after the tired status is. I would assume it is independent how long she would have been tired, so it's it kind of wouldn't make any sense to take her away, so might as well, in this case, take Renwim from our prime team with us. Renwim, welcome, to, welcome on board, buddy. Let's make everything available, weapons and utility items. She's going to be the scout. We have one nice sniper with a modified sniper rifle and the flashbang grenade. I'm not sure if we want to give her the flashbang grenade. Yeah, probably we will. We do have a specialist who still needs the right color coding. And a little bit more badassery. Oh, that is good. I like it. Now, how about another helmet? necessarily more badass but certainly more winter clothes we'll give her a nice little rifle and she's going to be the one carrying the med kit around we have our new uh, newest member mox i wish we can upgrade uh, we could upgrade his weapon a little bit but we can't yet I totally like his helmet. Let's just keep the character as is because it, he, he's really well designed. I like all of this fur here as well. Pretty, pretty damn well designed. Good, finally we got a modified um, cannon, a couple of frag grenades. Good, that sounds like a great team. If we were successful, we'll get another 200 supplies. So we are definitely not short on supplies. We need to get intel, that's, for, that's a given. We need to get more scientists, that's, uh, that's a given. And we probably need to recruit more soldiers, which I would have never thought, but we are running out on, uh, short on soldiers.
All right, welcome to our next mission. This is going to be a protect the device mission. So we brought some firepower with us. Operation Bloodhound. Neutralize all enemies and secure and protect the transmitter. Pretty straightforward. There's no Citrip um, going on on this mission. So it's a straight up normal mission. We haven't brought the A-Team, we've brought one person of the A-Team and a lot of parts of the B-Team. A couple of um, more rookie-ish person, uh, persons as well. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. Good, everyone's concealed, but you can take a guess who's going to take the lead here. Damn right, it's our Reaper. No surprise, we are finding some turrets. I actually would have expected that, to be honest. Uh, we will take high ground. And I would say, if we can, let's try to get on top of this building here. Let's try to get on top of this building. Solid copy. Got it covered. As you order. Can we already grapple up there? No, we can't. I go as ordered. Move, move, move. Good. The reason why I'm almost sprinting into it is I don't know how they modified the the device but usually yeah that's what i was fearing almost usually it takes a lot of hits just right from the get-go i will reposition there's this one tower and we'll continue to move forward I don't believe that anyone is on top of the roof. That's why we would have an issue. I was right. It's a little bit of trade-off between in between taking risks. I go. Getting it done. Maybe we can just ignore the tower for now. Explode most of that. I can take a wild guess that this here is a faceless one. Because usually there is no civilian in, in a room with a, uh, with a device that we are supposed to protect. To that position. An alien scouting party. Uh, it's just getting better and better. There is a second group just coming back from here. So we are talking about two groups in the uh, in the in the direct proximity. Yeah. Confirmed. Is in your hands. So I am thinking about really moving close up and like using using one of the grenades. I am at your service. Without the introduction yeah, there's of the second DNA, group. these creatures once operating under the guise of Finn men 
now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. By exploding that tank here. Understood. Moving out. We could take out Overwatch. large parts of the house and get free vision onto the uh, mission objective. Affirmative. Covering now. Got it covered. That's not good. This year could free up some of uh, the some of uh, the vision onto this group. We definitely need to use our claymore here. I can't see how how many hit points our device has, and that's our problem as well. All right, let's go. So he hasn't been concealed. Effectively, we just more or less started the encounter. I'm gonna make sure we get a nice little view <clears throat> onto them. This here should allow us to, yeah, exactly, destroy the whole side here, which probably will kill two if not three of them. Okay. This here would kill the captain because the car would explode. The purifier is on open terrain. I think we should get him first. Or the stun lancer. Hmm. If we go in with a flashbang, we can hit all three of them, which will make it unlikely that they will do anything, really. We probably need to kill this guy over here as well.
Okay, that would be... I think we're going in with a flashbang, so we can move the sniper, we we'll need his Moving shot. Out. But we need to kill the viper, because the poison would el elsewise hit us all. Well, fuck you, the viper is not in range. Which means we're taking the second best, which is the flamer guy. By the way, this is such a bad spot to be in. Yep, now we are fucked. Oh, wow. Not very surprisingly, we are being bound. This guy has spotted us and he will now burn us to crisps. No, he decides he doesn't want to be flanked. So he says, fuck that. I'm out of here. in a very, very, very bad situation. And we need to move. On my way. Maybe that's going to be a crit. Maybe not. Well, unless we... there's, by the way, a person up here, that's why we could just move up there. And unless we find a proper way to position ourselves, we are going to be dead next round with him. So before we can regain shadow, let's try to kill someone. that was threat number one is eliminated we do have three shots we are going to kill the viper next and afterwards we need to take care about the stun lancer One here is uh, in cover at least. Oh, 
We got two shots with him, so shot number one. The captain. That's a little critical. Good job, buddy. Shot number two. How much is justice uh, uh, going to deal as damage? Four. Which is not enough. Um, So if we pull the humanity towards us, would he be pulled to here? Or would we just pull him right in front of the door and he would fall down? Probably the first one. If, uh, realistically speaking, most likely the first one. Let's see if we can crit him. There was a high chance because he was completely in the open. This guy is now panicking. We are in full cover. Very, very strong position here, by the way. He will continue to... No, he won't. He better. Let's make sure that this guy is going to die. Enemies down. Bishop, attack. I must require ammunition. This is a close call. This guy currently has no targets, so I'm fine by just standing here and moving into the next cover in the next round. That's okay. No one will cross. I am under fire. Why is Mox burning? Well, we got a couple of wounded ones this time. That wasn't the cleanest of all executions. I think we need more dead aliens to get the effect we're going for. That wasn't the cleanest of all executions. I'm unhappy. I think we will take some moderate and some serious wounds. 
So that's yet another month without them. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't want to take him on this mission. Look at that shit. 27 days. 41 days? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, seriously? 41 days? Wow. At least we got the promotion and she got a couple of extra IP. So, target definition. Any unit seen by the Reaper remain permanently visible. Well, that is pretty good. Claymore deals more damage and has more radius. And we can shred armor. So, first of all, we definitely take the target identification. Because I think that's an awesome skill. And now it's the question... I'd like to go with uh, with Shrub Shrubnell here. The Claymore mine is really helpful so far. I like the whole concept about it. So, Mox just got a mission, just got promoted, and already got injured. Great. While fired upon, gain one extra action on the next turn. Triggers once per mission. Mm. Throwing a grenade or using an item no longer ends your turn. That is pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. Provides an additional utility sword, uh, slot, provided the soldier's armor does not only uh, already pro uh, provide one. This here is great because uh, it allows him to effectively, first of all, throw a grenade and then follow up with, uh, with a gun, for instance. Or heal and follow up. So that's definitely a great ability. I like it. It's almost like Salvo. The ability from uh, from the grenadier. Speaking about which, Ranwim is wounded for 30 days. I'm sorry, buddy, but that indeed is a bad start. I like the idea of having suppression fire for now and keeping people down. Demolition is also pretty good. I was regularly using both, but I think we're going to go with uh, suppression fire for now. Not my best mission. Let's put it that way. Oh, Commander. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Wait a second. Our soldiers just got another negative trait. I want to understand how to get rid of that. So Catherine Rice here, gravely wounded, obsessed. Uh, Obsessive Reloader. Chance to reload weapon on full after the first movement. Uh, yeah, well... I don't blame Shen for wanting to keep an eye on Tygen. But at this point, we need all the help we can get. What exactly do I do against traits? I would bet you there is a way of getting rid of them. So Remwim got a new ability. He can either take Untouchable. Oh wow, Untouchable is really good. Untouchable is awesome. Or we give him Blast Padding, which is also not bad. I think we're going to go with Untouchable because that's just such a strong ability. Good job, buddy. Like it. Just 
double checking. Lots of, lots of our guys can soon take uh, an extra ability. I'm not sure how much stronger they've uh, made the endgame aliens, but if you continue with that, we will gain a lot, a lot of abilities ju uh, just by, uh, by doing missions. That could solve our, uh, our current uh, staffing problem, the rookies. But let's first of all get the scientist here. Just received intel that one of Dr. Volan's escape test subjects is guarding a nearby advent facility. Best be prepared before we try to take it out. An extremely powerful and dangerous alien is guarding this location. Okay, that looks like the alien uh, rulers, the former alien rulers, are now at these locations. Okay. We got another scientist. Let's take a look. So we got ourselves another scientist. I am still hard at work. On still working on modular cannons. Commander. Wow, that's really bad. I mean, Maybe we're we stuck. Training someone else to pilot the we need to progress in research, and we need progress, definitely progress in. Uh, in building weapons. Increased reach and income, great, but at the moment we have really enough of supplies, which um, also means that I'm currently not necessarily going for that supply. We could get extra rookies, that's fine. But we can also buy them. Oh, currently we are at uh, double rookie, uh, at double um, recruitment costs, so yeah, let's wait with that for a bit. There's still a dark event uh, running. Show active dark events, 100% uh, improvement uh, for recruiting costs, which is fine. So we're going to get the supplies and then probably the rookies. Avenger plotting new course. We're short on intel. We would need more intel to expand our uh, our territory. I wish we can start going into this territory. Maybe in three days when the teamwork training is done. I don't know. The results of our breakthrough. Good modular cannons. Finally, cannons can uh, take two upgrades. Phew. And. It seems as if we're now going for magnetic weapons. That's yet a full uh, extra month, but we need them. I'll see that work begins immediately. Can't wait any longer. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Good. We got ourselves a new grenadier. I think we have no further rookie soldiers. We also can't get additional tactics so far. I wish we can get the squad size too, but we need a captain for that. So we freshly promoted Bernard Schaefer here. At least we got a team. Like we would have a grenadier, a specialist, a ranger. Yeah, and we, we have some of the more experienced soldiers as well. But that here sucks. Have, uh, not having Ranwim at the moment is really a bummer. And in two days we'll get two additional um, rookies that will come back from their mission. 
Probably they will then be leveled up. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Good. These two soldiers gained a bo uh, bond together. And let's see what exactly we can do. Um, we do have three factions now. We could start with hunting her, which would increase our influence and it would give us a hunt counter, whatever that is. I think that would that that's pretty much my favorite idea so far. The loot is also fun, but not really needed. Gain additional resistance order actions. That would mean we are... That would mean we are kind of understanding more about this guy. Hunt the Chosen Warlock. Health plus one is great. That's a really good reward. Increase combat intelligence. Oh, oh, that oh, that is actually a pretty good mission um, to ensure that the soldiers learn more ability points faster. That's not bad. And that's the scientist. Gosh, I wish I wouldn't have seen the scientist because now I think we need to go for the scientist because we are so far behind in science. Soldier wounding. Low risk. Hmm. You know what? We can uh, use these two again. They have a bond anyways. Yeah, let's do that. But before we do that, let us shortly level them up because I don't even know what kind of soldiers they are now. So we got another um, Grenadier above average combat intelligence, that's good. And we got a wonderful Ranger. That's not bad. So yes, these two certainly can uh, can go into the mission together. And we're going to get the, uh, the one with the scientist before we start the hunt for the aliens. I like the idea with hunting the aliens but currently I feel the um, scientist is way more important. Recruit scientist. Let's start with a soldier. We are not taking any Elarium crystals so they might uh, get injured uh, via doing the mission but that's okay. That's fine. We get a scientist out of it. My kind will do whatever is needed. How much longer how much longer does the current event last? Because I, there must be a way to see how long the current event is still ongoing. Next retaliation strike imminent. Shit. That means we are soon going to have a retaliation mission. In two weeks there's going to be a new alien facility constructed. That means another dot bleep progress on the Avatar project. So 
So are we going to invest eight days in rookies? That's usually two to three rookies. Alternatively, we can gain intel. Or alternatively, we can go to the black market. Or permanently increase the income. The income increase is not so important. I'm, th I'm toying with the idea of getting new rookies, but we can buy them. We effectively have enough supplies. So let's focus on getting some more intel at the moment because we're really fine on the supplies and the income is also super stable. Which means, for Mexico. contrary to the uh, maybe to the initial thought, we're going to gain some more intel here. That's probably the next facility. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. So we get eight intel per day here. That's okay. That's okay. Their suffering is needless, but they have spurned the Elder's office of peace for the last time. Setting course for Eastern United States. Well. That's the next retaliation mission. I'm not awfully keen in doing it, but we really have no option. We're going to take our prime team here. That's Roby, Edgar Alien, Pole, and Sirkim. Unfortunately, we have Ranwim uh, currently in the sick bay, so we're going to take another Grenadier on his behalf. Bernhard Schaefer is going to be his replacement for this uh, run. And I wish we could take uh, the uh, Reaper, because I really, really like the idea of having a scout. Unfortunately, we can't build uh, Reapers uh, yet, because otherwise I would have built one or two more. They seem to be pretty good. We can take either another Specialist or yet another Ranger with us. And... You know what? I mean, let's just go with another specialist. So... We might want to think about building one or two more items because really our equipment is utmost garbage so might as well go for yet another flashbang don't really need the nanoscale waste saw too much smoke grenades aren't bad either Good. Explosives, explosives. Um, Robbie with another explosive is fine. That's really, that's a good uh, setup. I am concerned about our weapons and concern would be too less of a word here. I am deeply unhappy with how shitty our equipment is. It is fun to, uh, because it ups the challenge. But one of the reasons why certain mission, uh, certain missions that we were just playing through were effectively becoming more and more of a slugfest is if I'm triggering more than one pack, it immediately means we are going to take shots. So by taking, high, uh, by taking full cover or just really uh, effectively uh, letting only the troopers live, we kind of minimize the damage that we have uh, taken, but it's al uh, always a gamble. I do not like to gamble, usually I want to just kill all of the enemies in one turn. And that really hasn't happened in quite some time. So welcome to uh, Operation Northern Night. 
status quo is we are in month number three. We are behind the tech tree, so it's getting increasingly difficult to stay on top of the game. We haven't lost a soldier so far, which is great. We have aced all of the missions, which is also great, but it is really getting more difficult now. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Right, Roby is going to go in first. He has Phantom. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Which is great, because with, uh, with Phantom... We can uh, we can let him take a proper position. We can let this here explode. That's not too bad. I mean, realistically speaking, the civilian here is dead, anyways. It, uh, hopefully, it's a faceless one, in which case I would be fine with doing it. Worse, if worse comes to worst, we're just losing the one civilian. Good. Bernard takes a cover, a great cover position here. We're going to blow up this car. Ready for a surprise. So that will take away all of his cover and the car will explode. Hmm. I am surprised about the car not exploding immediately, to be honest. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Orders confirmed. Moving out. So we can use a flashbang here to prevent the usage of poison. Basically that flashbang here would blind both of them. expecting to hit really so we'll use the flashbang in order to blind both of them Light up. no poison from the snake is great the other guy cannot uh, run away so the car will explode and he'll die what the heck Okay, so that's our next um, chosen one, Konami Tesura, the Light Tripper, also known as the Warlock. At least that's what it said the last time. Immunity to explosions. That's that is bad for us. Gains health when nearby enemies take damage. That's bad as well. So need really need to focus him. Takes increased damage from close range attacks and takes increased damage from skirmishers whom we do not have on this mission. That sucks. See the face of your ruin. And I forgot to tell us uh, that he also has two armor. 
One of the Chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of our operation. Well, no shit, Sherlock, really? You continue defiance of the Elders will only strengthen my resolve. This way, for all traitors in your resistance, a death of fire and pain. Are you ready to be redeemed? No, I'm definitely not ready to be redeemed. I might want to ask you to stop the redeeming for now, as I would want to be not redeemed. That worked out wonderful. Target neutralized. Still got the fucking snake inside of this convoy here. Uh, that's uh, such a bad position to be in. Get with a uh, go with a set of explosives here and make sure that we can kill both of them. Probably not the worst idea. Still thinking about the snake if it goes out, uh, if it goes uh, outside and starts to like spit. Might as well. Might as well try to get our guys a little bit um, far away from one another. Poison can be pretty nasty. So moving to here does not let us see him. Moving to here is too dangerous because we would... This here would be a perfect flanking position. tough spot to be in. If we move here, that uh, he's probably going to poison that area. So if we move here, we can be flanked. If we move up here, that's only half cover. Plus he can just move around and take shots at, at us um, from a flanking position. He could do that, uh, matter of fact, here as well. So we might want to counteract by moving over. Copy, moving on target. Covering Solid now. overwatch. That would be a solution for this guy, to be honest. The warlock is still far enough away. If we would stand here, this guy here. And this guy here, maybe even this guy here, but still too far away. So at least this guy here could trigger if it is a if it is a. Um, I'm blanking on the name. 
if it's one of the morphing creatures. On the other hand, the sector it will most likely not deal high amounts of damage. He will probably resurrect one person and that's about it. I've got my eyes on. There we go. The Overwatch setup worked. Spectral zombie? What kind of sorcery? Start with taking out the uh, the yeah I would see that's exactly what I I wanted to fit in. Good selection to not go here when there's only when there's really only one uh, creature left over. So as we had no attacks uh, left open, we should have never went in. So now that there is a faceless one, which by the way is the name of these wonderful creatures, now that there is a faceless one, we might as well kill him. We need to kill him actually, because elsewise this car will explode and both of them will suffer a horrible death. So it's kind of our number one priority now. I'm pretty sure that we will be successful, elsewise I wouldn't take such an aggressive move. Are you shitting me? Toss me some ammo. What? This guy explodes on death? Okay, I certainly haven't known that. That's a nice way to trick people with um, Overwatch actions. Time for some solid reloading for everyone. Oh yeah. Ready to go. Overwatch. Moving out. We need high ground against that warlock. So he had been spotted, moved like here, it's probably around that area to be honest. This one here is burning, elsewise it would be a perfect spot for high ground. Can't take the high ground in the middle here. That here is another option for high ground, so might as well move to the right. 
slowly but surely because we are if we can take the high ground over there that's a big plus Moving everyone before even going on to Overwatch. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Scanning. Overwatch. It's it's at least one more pack, but since n none of the civilians uh, so far have died, since none of the civilians so far have died, we can take it really slow because I think it's just a warlock and just. Is clearly to be understood in air quotes. Affirmative, moving out. On the move. Heading out. I don't want to cluster up all too much because I have the distinct feeling that this uh, Warlock has some AoE damage. The zombie alone dealt a lot of AoE damage. I just want to make sure. Contrast to the other, um, uh, to the other chosen one, who was completely immune to Overwatch fire, it feels like the Warlock is actually pretty... Yeah, pretty much affected by Overwatch fire. I guess that'll be okay. If we can get him into an Overwatch flank, that would be into an Overwatch trap, that would be wonderful. Way too much fire here. I don't like it at all. Can't even go there. On my way. Come get some. Affirmative. Covering out. Affirmative. Out. Covering out. Overwatch. Shh. I think I heard something. What? How is someone behind us? Okay, so he seems to be some sort of a summoner. So, John is no longer dazed. A rescue attempt. And at what cost, I wonder. We shall see, Commander. Moving to designated position. The problem is he is still in light cover.
The problem is his light cover. I'm okay with most of the rest, but the light cover is not good. So we're going to try, try at least to take some shots at, uh, at him. But before we do so, let's get the soldier. Okay, uh, almost 50-50 in all of the shots. Um, we need to shred him, so we're going to start with uh, Burn Schaefer here. Who I realize has no shredder talent yet. That's really bad. It's just going to make that way, way more difficult. That would have sucked. That thing is taking control of our no, that thing is not good taking control of our soldiers. That thing tried taking control of our soldiers. There's a huge difference between being successful and just trying to be successful. We have no cover. That's unfortunate. Can't just go in because there are too many potential faceless ones. Roby misses. I'm not even sure if we need to completely kill him. Let's reload. If he would have Shredder, the whole thing here would be so, so much easier. But without Shredder, the two armor really, really begin to stink. Mind control. Panic is fine. The elders would have me strike elsewhere. No long did you think you could hide. Okay, so far no one has approached us, which means uh, we might as well take a flanking position soon. Just to increase the damage. Closing on target position now. That's not a faceless one, most likely. I'm not impressed either, bro. I know it hit the plate. Wow, we're chipping him down so, so slowly. Closing 
Something on target position now. 50-50, come on. Oh, she's taking one damage per shot. Next turn, I'll go in with the uh, with a slashing attack. He seems to be weak against melee, but he's not hurt enough yet. Confirmed. On the move. Oh, gotcha. We first of all need to kill the Spectral Army, otherwise we can't kill him. Move into position. Kill the spectral army. Ammo out. Head now. Just turned into a face, this one. Enemies down. Okay, one sec. Oh, wow, I thought it was this guy here, because he was standing there the whole time, and I was simply unsure how that was even remotely fair. Like, hiding there like a bitch for the whole time, and then all of a sudden uncovering itself. But... It is a guy over here, who will not reach us, at least not during this turn. And since there are, to my knowledge, at least only two faceless ones per mission, unless they change that, we might be successful in finishing off the Warlock first. Uh, very unlikely. If, if you say so. Deflection. We will cleanse this world in the very need to take care of him, definitely. Very much need to take care of him. About to get burned to a grasp. <laughs> wow. Whatever your soldier has learned, whatever we have seen soon. So, we certainly need to kill this guy up here. Let's go. Position 
Just in case he survives, I don't want him to cleave two of the soldiers. That's the reason why I changed the position. We won't deal as much damage, but we can give him another action with teamwork, so he can shoot twice with his rifle. And that here hopefully is going to deal enough damage. No. Not even sure why he... Why, really, I'm not even sure why it deals uh, these uh, low amounts of damage. I really can't just not run over there and help him. That's not an option. So reload and shoot. I'm not going to run back. Come on. Whoa, good job. Before you get too close. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. If you had any hope of escaping the Elder's wrath, allowing your soldiers to fall into my hands will surely quell that notion. My victory is a painful No is too great if it means my service to the Elders is uh -huh. to their satisfaction. We will be upon you soon, Commander. The Chosen extracted what information they could from our soldier. And now they're a little closer to finding you, Commander. Menace 1-5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. The Chosen have recovered more information about us, Commander. If they keep this up, they'll eventually be able to find the Avenger. We need to stop them before that happens. I should have killed him. It was very, very, very close. Ah, so bad. We should have had Shredder. His armor was saving him. He was like down to three hit points, I think. And just, just out of melee uh, range for our katana. Or machete, rather. Overall, it was a successful mission, but we still took damage because one of the uh, one of his spectral guardians exploded. Whatever it is, the chosen are doing to them in the field. Corporal Heinrich Brown. Good. Roby seven missions. Sirkem 5, Edgar Alien Poe 6 missions, that's great, really good guys. And we got 11 rescued civilians, which is fantastic. For a retaliation mission it couldn't be better. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow 33 to supplies. the efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. Commander, having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. So th these are the two uh, soldiers that we have uh, taken onto the reconnaissance mission. So by looking at it, I think these were the two down here. On the covered ops mission. 
Nora and the Sodoro. As if the aliens didn't have enough annoying spokespeople, now we have these chosen running around, lecturing us day and night. Reduced contact cost is pretty good because it will save us a lot of intel to get into Central Europe. Accept the reality of your situation, Commander. You are outmatched, and the weakness of your resistance has begun to... Now let's go with that because it's effectively intel costs that we are reducing. We are going to have a lot of extra intel costs so we will not be able to make any contact with Europe soon. I was hoping that we could get uh, to Southern America, but apparently that's not a thing. Avenger plotting new course. We lost one of our data pets. That was uh, that was approximately ninety credits uh, worth ninety supplies. So that's fine. The Chosen aren't afraid to resort to sabotage tactics if it means slowing down our efforts. We need to work to prevent these attacks before they catch up with us. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. So they progressed the Avatar project, created a, a facility, but look at our progress. We did way more in May. That's end of month three, and we still are not uh, progressing in our in our science activities so that's not good seer seems to be bad she's currently focusing on intense training of uh, the units in their strength so we should we should try to kill the shadow maiden as soon as possible That here sucks. We don't want to have that. That here is definitely... Mm, wow. So they would have hit and run tactics. Bending read. That's a bad one. Alien Cypher is worse though. I mean, Stun Lancers are bad, but we can deal with them. And in one week, we are going to see the next facility. Enemies drop additional loot. Any shredding attack uh, uh, shreds for another point. That's fine. We could go for reduction recruitment costs, really, to uh, get some more soldiers. Because we're currently, anyways, not increasing our, our contacts. But I don't know what's going to happen during the next month. Maybe South America will open up and then we would effectively go for another contact. So I'll leave that in here for now because we really have enough supplies that is an option as well but we so far we don't have no we don't have a second one which we can really choose it's great i like loot but don't get me wrong the resistance contact is also important and there wouldn't be anything else uh, that could give a, although there could be there could be a world drop there could be a world drop, like one uh, of the sites that we can scan for an additional resistance contact. So maybe we go for additional loot for one month and see how that goes. We obey. Finally, look at that. Maximum we got a nice new room. Reached. So might as well Maximum start power with a power relay here. Power relay construction initiated. Which is great because in 12 days we can then also start building here. And we can upgrade the resistance ring later. victorious a 
kind of cause is this then? The scientist we found is eager to join us cause of uh, to repay the debt in honor of his rescue. We got 10 Alarium Crystals, great. We gained XP, increased the cohesion, and she also increased aim by two, which is great. I like it, I love it, to be honest. Super successful. We've got a shot at hitting the Elders hard, something we haven't tried before. You up for it, Commander? Add a new faction hero? Oh, wow. So that would be the third faction. I like it. Although, I think I also want to really kill her as soon as possible. Breakthroughs in both our manufacturing and finishing processes should further improve the balance of our swords, increasing the damage of the swords by one. Mm hmm. That's a permanent, nice little permanent reward there. Counter the uh, permanent lowering of XCOM's income. I couldn't care about that. I like the idea here. Requires one scientist. And we could give him extra, uh, some extra aiming. Edgar Alien Poe. I mean, plus three aim is nothing to um, to ignore. And if we just. Let's see, add one more. We do have two Grenadiers, one Ranger. Two rangers, two grenadiers, a specialist, another ranger, another specialist. So, as long as we don't take another sniper on that mission, we should be fine. So, might as well take a specialist just to make sure that he's not getting injured, no risks. I like it. it. Takes eight days, and he gains a perfect uh, permanent bonus, and we get a permanent bonus for the swords. That's really good. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. We're so in eighteen well, days, wait. we are going to be done with the magnetic the weapons. Of the chip we extracted from you, we'll need to conduct the appropriate research as soon well, as possible. super long. I have to admit, there is something exciting about working under the more intense. Okay, wait a second. If there is no dark event yet, there is no dark event yet. Let's make contact. No, no. Oh, I traded away the plus one. Resistance come. We could have made the contact. Can we? somehow reassign that living quarter commander central we can reassign them to a new task after our next supply drop oh. well I should have stayed with it. Let's get the next supply drop. We don't need additional supplies. We do not need the rookies really at the moment. Avenger plotting new course. I guess the game wanted to tell us that we really need to wait until next month, right? I'm just double checking because we just picked up. Yeah. Ah, that 
That annoys me a little bit. So if we scan here at the skirmisher HQ, we build our our um, our Avenger a little bit faster, which is not bad. I like the idea, but I also like the idea of gaining additional info. So might as well continue with that. Setting course for sector eight, Mexico. And you know what? We haven't been at the black market yet. I just want to double check. It's probably going to be worthless because we can't buy anything for supplies. The market is open. Yeah, all of that takes into. Too bad we need more intel, for the Mexican regional and we need more resist. Uh, we need more contacts as well. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I know. I know. Here we go. So, stun lancers have a chance to move after performing a melee attack. That is not too bad, to be honest. Uh, another engineer, that's great. And it would cover, uh, counter the intel costs, which is really good. And here we would get additional supplies and counter a darker event that I don't even know. So, probably we're going to go into this mission. Stealth insertion. Any mission timers will not start until the SWAT uh, breaks concealment. That is good. Destroy the alien relay. And it is a difficult mission. So difficult means we are going to face at least 15 up to 18 enemies. So we need to bring most of our 18. And that is going to happen in the next video, guys.